All right, look at that big old sun. These mornings just keep getting better and better. Um, half of a high rocks this morning, halvesies um, with Will. It was a lot of fun. Did it in about 35 minutes. Um, not as fast as I wanted it wanted to. I wanted to get a flat 30 minutes on it, but um, still felt pretty good about it. Um, performed well. Uh, had a lot better attitude this morning, so on and so forth. Um, anyway, it was really good, really fun. Um, and also, what I've been, what I was kind of thinking about um, during that workout. Uh, it's easy to get into a habit of in any situation or any relationship, looking at what you can gain from it, right? What you can get out of it. But sometimes we need to change our focus and look at what we can give in the situation. What can you give in the situation? What can you give to that person in the relationship? Um, Cause yes, we want to get things. We want to achieve our goals and stuff like that. But what can we do to help others achieve their goals? What can we give rather than what can we get? So going into Wednesday, let's keep that in mind. In any situation, any moment, any relationship, any conversation, instead of thinking about what you're going to gain or what you can get from it, think about what you can give. All right. I love you guys. Let's have an amazing Wednesday. I got to get back in here and get to work. All right, good morning. Uh, happy, 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 happy. Um, I think it's Thursday. <laughs> totally forgot there for a second. Um, so happy Thursday. Um, just got done working out, nice and sweaty. It's beautiful, amazing outside. Birds are singing. It's got this spring morning smell that always brings me back to my childhood. Um, every time. So, super beautiful morning. Uh, the workout, the workout was tough. Um, it was, so it was run, ski, row. And you did 600 of each, 500 of each, 400 of each, 300 of each, 200 of each, and then 100 of each. And that was one round. Um, I did two rounds. I wanted to do three rounds, but highly underestimated the amount of time it was going to take to do one round. So, got two rounds in, came outside in this beautiful weather, and uh, did an easy 800 meters to, uh, to meet my 5K everyday goal. Um, so, <sighs> ready to kick this day's ass. Uh, real quick, I want to remind you guys, or not necessarily remind you guys, but something I was just thinking a few minutes ago while I was running. It's not about how much you do. It's about how much you can do really well and consistently for a long period of time. How much you can do really well, really good, consistently for a long period of time. That's what matters. A lot of people can run 10 feet. A lot of people can maybe run 10 feet over and over and over again. But can they do it quickly, efficiently? And can they do it for a really long time? Can they run 10 feet all day long? Or can they only do it a few times before they're tired? Running is just an easy example. We can apply this to anything in our lives. It's not about how much, right? Quality over quantity. But it's also quality for a long period of time. That's what gets us where we want to be. I love you guys. Let's have an amazing Thursday. All right. Happy Friday. Sun shining. I know I always talk about the sun, but... I like this one, and I like Fridays. Uh, cool, fun workout this morning. 
um, did five or no, it was six rounds of 500 meter runs, uh, 50 meter sled push, and then it was six rounds of 500 meter run, uh, 50 meter sled pull. Um, so got some sled work in this morning for high rocks. Um, just keeps getting closer and closer. Uh, and then was able to jump in with some upper body stuff with Brian and Ryan and Garrett. So that was kind of nice to, to cut back and do some, uh, some more heavy lifting rather than a bunch of running, even though I still did a bunch of running. Anyway, um, Friday. Uh, <sighs> Your choices create the distance. What I mean by that is no matter how far away your goals or your desires seem, your choices are what create the distance between you and that goal or between you and that desire or between you and that amazing house or amazing car or amazing career. Your choices create the distance, right? Because in every moment of every day, you're either taking a step closer or you're taking a step back. So that's what I mean by your choices create the distance. You choose whether you're gonna move closer to that goal and take the steps and do the things you need to do to get closer to that desire, or you make the choices to take the step back or to fall backwards. Stop doing the things you need to do to get there. Get lazy, whatever you wanna put in there. But in the end, your choices create the distance between you and where you wanna be. So take that into your Friday, guys. I love you. Let's take steps closer to where we wanna be. Let's do the things we need to do to get closer to where we wanna be. Let's create the habits now Let's create the discipline now, make the sacrifices now, so that when we get there, it is that much better, okay? So again, your choices create the distance between where you are now and where you wanna be. I love you guys. Let's have a rockin' Friday. I just wanna say, this strawberry Formula One, this new strawberry Formula One is delicious. Um, two scoops of it gives me about 40 grams of fast digesting protein that paired with ignition or a high glycemic carbohydrate is going to get to my muscles as fast as possible after a workout and start the recovery process because during my workout I'm creating all these micro tears in my muscles and depleting my glycogen levels and so after my workout I take this uh, fast digesting protein or high glycemic carbohydrate put together, um, excuse me, rapid assimilation protein and a high glycemic carbohydrate put together. <sighs> they come in, they repair those muscles as fast as possible. Replenish my glycogen. That way I can come back to the gym tomorrow. Keep training, keep training for this high rocks. So get yourself some new strawberry for me. All right, quick little shout out to my newest favorite product. That's what you can make. The priest bra. This is the laundry stain remover. Okay, so Gideon had a bloody nose long time ago while he was sleeping. Got it on his pillow. Got it on his pillowcase, I should say. And I tried to get it out and I had no luck whatsoever. And so washed it, dried it, washed it, dried it several times. Every time we did biting, the stain was still there. And obviously since I had dried it, the stain was set not going to be moving. Anyways, I had the Brainiac idea since this is a new product that I have. I'm like, I'm going to try it just to see. And so I sprayed it, put it in the laundry and it like, it like took some of it away. I was like, 
whoa this is already a set stain and it's taking some of it away so i did that so i did that again i sprayed it put it in the wash and i did it like four times and no kidding like you can barely even tell where it was so after the stain was already set and this is blood this is blood in um his pillowcase it was set and i had like i said i washed it and dried it several times probably i don't it's been probably a year since it's been on there so shoot i don't even know at least 15 times we'll just say 15 times washed and dried set and uh, set in there okay and now you can't even freaking see it gideon come here for a minute I'll just hurry up then i got people on the phone trying to talk to you you're running out of time like my neighbor's house stain remover i'm in your room silly show the people where the blood stain was see if you can find it Let's see. Nope, that's not where it was. Can I try to find no, it? Where was it? Can I try to find it, Mom? I'm running out of time. Try to find where it was. Uh -huh. I can see where it was because you can still faintly see it. Where is it? Where is it right? Nope. It's part. It it's on. No, it's not on the underside. I'm looking right at it. It's on the white and the lighter blue. And there it is. Oh, there it is. See? Point exactly. You can barely tell where it was. And. Every time that it goes into the laundry, I'm going to be spraying it. Even though it has already been set, technically that's almost impossible to get any stains out after you've already dried something with the stain in it to get it out. But that freaking stain is pretty much gone. I am so impressed with this pre-spot stuff, this laundry stain remover. I am so impressed. Anyway, guys, and it's non-toxic. It is safe for the family, literally such a cool thing it's not it's filled with chemicals yeah it's safe for cats and dogs and children and and oh, me yeah, and yeah. you and everyone involved it's eco-friendly get you some Car. Grip, okay. He, he's really good at this. That you now you have to try me. I'm like a hundred something. <laughs> 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 it's probably gonna be better if you like grab closer to me. Yeah. 
And you're gonna have to lift your legs off the ground. Hold yourself up. You can right. try your elbows too if you need to hang your arms. Instead of holding on with your hands, you could try to hang your arms and or Grace, and then lift up, kind of. <laughs> that hurts my arms so bad. <laughs> This is a hair appreciation post. Look at this. I really wish I would have taken a before picture of how my hair used to be. I only have like my mom and my sister and my husband can all vouch for me, but my hair, look like, look how long it is. And look at this. It's hard to tell on camera, but look at this. And also, like I said, I wish I had before pictures. So my hairline used to go up. Well, you can tell like these are like baby hairs. Like they're so fresh. Like they're just new. Cause I used to have a huge, huge, a very high hairline. Like it went high, it went high. It was, it was high. Um, but anyway, it's like all filled in and stuff. So anyway, hair appreciation post. Also because I uh, washed my hair last night. I love hair washing days. Don't you? Anyway, obviously um, I'm going to attribute the majority of this amazingness to straightening out my life and getting healthy and uh, eating right, not eating so much processed foods, and drinking a lot of water, a ton of water. I've been drinking a gallon of water since the first time I did 75 hard, um, since I started 75 hard, which was August of 2021. I could probably count maybe on two hands how many times I did not drink a gallon of water a day, but I came darn near close. And those days were only over like surgery days that I had that I did not drink a gallon of water. Um, anyway, uh, so all that and also I um, had been taking have been also Still taking is what I'm trying to say is first forms collagen I put it in my coffee every single day and it helps obviously with your hair skin nails And I also take it for the elasticity since I lost a bunch of weight and I have a lot of loose skin So I take it for elasticity to help shrink the skin back in so all that being said I have been on the search for um, like good shampoo hair care, shampoo, conditioner, uh, hairspray, mousse, all that sort of stuff. I've been on the lookout for a really healthy one because unfortunately First Form does not sell that. They do not make that. But I did run across because now I'm doing a monthly wellness box. Um, I, I'm no longer, well, I should say, like I've told you guys before, I'm weaning myself off of like Walmart and Target and Amazon. I'm really good because we haven't been to Target in probably a year. So kudos to me but I'm still weaning myself off of Walmart um, and so I've uh, we traded we switched to um, buying um, from the wellness box it's a Patriot box um, anyway and they have shampoo and conditioner they have hair products and beauty products they have makeup and stuff like that so I am super excited to try the um, shampoo and conditioner and they come in really um, amazing I was gonna say flavors we don't eat them they come in different scents and stuff like that and I do want to read you some of the scents that they have I have them memorized yet and I'm not sure um, which one I'm going to choose I got to add it to my cart pretty soon because I'm gonna be making my monthly order for the wellness box anyway they have olive fruit and almond protein strength shampoo and conditioner then they have argan oil and coconut moisture smooth shampoo and conditioner and these are only this is i'm only reading a few there they have a ton of options and then they have rice and i don't know how to pronounce this one amaranth rice and amaranth full vo full volume shampoo and conditioner and then they have quino and sunflower color lock shampoo and conditioner and um, I could pr I, I can't vouch for you personally, but one of my team leads um, she has pink vibrant pink hair and um, She uses a shampoo and conditioner and her hair is a vibrant pink. Okay, so like like this says color lock so Anyway, excuse me. They have several different options. I'm so excited to continue to take care of my hair Thank you. 
Leaves is sinking now. No, I'm feeling a best friend. I feel like going over here and I don't know how to get back on. It's okay. slippery. Um, Just sit still, Angie. Dad said to stay on this ledge. Don't hey, push Daddy, it. Can, can, you put, can I put this in the water so it can be a friend? Throw it. Let's go ahead and start heading back up. Okay. Yeah, one more. Me too. Yeah, me too. I only put one. I only put like 200. What? Well, we're running out of six over here, so. Um, it's... There's more than four. So. 